Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are on a continuation of my whiskey journey, my American whiskey journey, my bourbon journey, my rye journey, whatever you want to call it. This little series that I'm on, I'm going to do a quick hitter today folks. I'm going to dive in, share this one with you and I'm not going to keep you around too long. So hopefully we're going to get this done. I'm going to tackle the old Ezra 7 year old barrel strength. It's coming in at a whopping 117 proof. The mash bill on this is 78% corn, 12% malted barley, and 10% rye content. So, yeah, and it's it kicks out in America around about the $35 to $40 mark. So I think this could be, price point-wise, it may be an entry-level barrel-strength whiskey. So let's dive in, nose it, taste it. Just before I do, guys, if you're a returning subscriber, then thank you very much and welcome back. If you've so happened to pop in for the first time and whiskey's your thing, then you've landed on the right channel. You may want to click that subscribe button down below, folks. Just a friendly reminder from me to thee. Doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free. And you're helping the channel massively on its way to the magical 4K. Don't forget to click that bell. To keep you updated whenever I'm popping out a new video. Let's dive into this one. I've had it covered up for the last hour by my trusty whiskey friend coin number 99 on this one. So hopefully it's been keeping all those beautiful flavours tied in for me. So let's... Dive in on the nose. Okay, it's a typical sweet bourbon. For that, considering it's 117 proof, it's not it's not singeing my nostrils as I put my nose in. I can get my nose in quite far, so that's a little bit of a surprise. I thought it was going to be a little bit hotter than that. It's a little bit oaky and a little bit woody. As you really get into it, maybe a little bit of barrel char there as well. But as you get into it, this, that sweetness starts to develop. That maple syrups there. Those typical vanillas, toffees, caramels. They're all there. There's a nice little roasted nut there. Maybe a roasted almond. Maybe a toasted almond. Maybe a toasted peanut. And then there's a little bit of a fruity note. I think it's, there's a little bit of cherry there. Maybe some dark fruit, but that, that nutty note is tend to be a little bit more dominant. Don't get me wrong, the, the sweetness is there, the vanilla, the caramel, the toffee, maybe even a little bit of butterscotch. So, and there's a hint of spice just right in the back there, maybe a little bit of cinnamon. Let's dive in, guys. Colour-wise, it looks pretty cool colour. Legs are pretty nice as well. It's got some nice long legs dragging down there. Give it a little shake before I dive in and send it down the hatch. So, as always, guys... Cheers, down the hatch. Okay, a little dryness on arrival. A little oaky bitterness, but it becomes quite spicy. A little bit of hot, a little bit rough around the edges. But as it goes past the arrival and you get into the development, that roasted nut comes in, that toasted nut comes in, it's quite prominent. A little bit of dark fruits there, a little bit of dark fruit, maybe a dark cherry. Yeah, I say maybe a little bit of a, maybe some tanner, maybe raisin. But it's it's all toasted, it's all, that barrel char's definitely there. It's that dryness, but as the dryness goes away, it gets sweeter. The mouthfeel's not the thickest mouthfeel I've ever tasted. Well, most barrel strengths, I think they're a little bit more syrupy than that. This is a little bit thin. It's a little bit rough on the edges. Let's see how it develops in the second sip. Yeah, it's gotten much sweeter. They're getting really, really sweet now. Lots of van vanillas. That maple syrup's there. Maybe even a little bit of butterscotch. First time I've ever tried this old Ezra. It's quite nice. I have, as in regards in barrel strains, I've done quite a few barrel strains before. So I've got the rare breed. Wild Turkey rare breed barrel proof. The Elijah Craig was my, was my first ever barrel proof whiskey. I can pick this up in the UK for about just under £50, which is a, it's my go-to 
barrel proof bourbon in a minute i think the elijah craig's becoming a little bit more difficult to get a hold of i think you guys in the states will let me know if you tried this what are your thoughts of it if you had it before tell me what you think how's it compared to the wild turkey i don't i don't think it's in that ballpark i think this for me would possibly be a good entry level if you're trying to get somebody from normal bourbons into the higher proof bourbons i think this might be quite good for doing that but if you're a seasoned bourbon drinker and you're a high abv drinker i think it might help you it may be okay with abv i was expecting it to be a wee bit hotter than it is even at 58.5 it drinks quite easy but it's not the best uh barrel proof or barrel strength whiskey that i've ever had it's nice to have tried it. I'm thankful to the guys who keep sending me the bourbons and keep sending me the stuff to try. Let's before I finish and give you a conclude on it. Let me do the finish. Okay, it's not the longest finish in the world either, folks. But it's a little bit okay, a little bit tannic, a little bit dry, but in that. Sweet caramel comes in on the finish. Sweet vanillas. It's gone really, really sweet. A little bit of spice in there as well. And that toasted nut is really on the finish. So all in all, this is a pretty decent $35 barrel strength whiskey. Is it the best? I don't think it's the best I've had. I don't think it's going to be the compete with likes of the Wild Turkey or the, even the Knob Creeks, I think. I, I think I've got a preference to the Knob Creek. 120 proof so they're they're, little, they're up there in that same kind of proof mark um but guys yeah that's pretty much just a quick hitter one have the quick thoughts on it it's not my favorite but i'm thoroughly enjoyed big thanks to the guys who send me the stuff but as always i'm alan i'm the whiskey friend oh pleasure is in the sharing and i'll see you in the next one cheers now thank you bye bye